Hey guys, Jordan here once again. So we're going to talk about Bomb Crypto today. They recently had a new update um, a couple days back, 11 January. Uh, oh no, that's just yesterday. So um, this update is pretty interesting. Um, and we got to see how it kind of affected the price of Bomb Crypto. So if you look at the Bomb Crypto chart right now, you can see that this is the, let's do the one day chart. So prices were pretty low at $2.30 a couple of days back, just yesterday. And it went up all the way to $3.23 at a peak. Um, pretty high, out uh, $3.30 actually. So, and then it started coming down again, and now it's kind of like finding its way around two ninety, which I think is pretty all right. Um, it's still a pretty good price to have. So if you're wondering what caused this little run up, um, we're going to cover it in this video here. So um, the reason for the run up is really because of the update that was released um, yesterday, I guess. And there was a reward adjustment. So and when this was done, they gave an explanation for it as well. So the first thing that they did was to reduce the earnings by 6%. And we all know that when you reduce earnings, people start to earn less and therefore makes the coins a bit more scarce. But at the end of the day, uh, I think to make a token really increase in price is not just making it scarce, but also increases its utility might be a bigger push for the price factor of the token. So the first thing they did was to reduce the total earnings by 6%. This doesn't mean that the reward pool is reduced by 6%. But the amount of tokens that you're able to mine a single day is reduced by 6%. So we just got to make that very clear here, as they mentioned here in the first paragraph. And if you look at the second paragraph, it says here, each, users, each user will be reduced by a different percentage based on the person's total mining output. The more you mine, the less Bitcoin you receive. So uh, I'm not sure if this makes sense to you because it doesn't make sense to me. Um, if you're mining 100 Bitcoins a day, you're just going to get 94. Uh, instead of 100, if you are mining um, uh, 10 B coins, you know, you're going to get you're going to get 9.4 instead of 10. So you do not get lesser B coins per day, but overall, everybody gets lesser B coins. And I think this is not a I don't think this statement makes sense to me, but it's up to you guys judgment. All right. So the advantages or what the or what the team says um, works or why this thing works is because when the mining is reduced in treasure hunt mode, it makes the coin scarce or more rare and coin prices increases or at least stays stable. So um, I do not agree with this statement because personally, I think just by making a coin scarce does not make the, point, the coin go up in price. Utility has to come into play as well. So we are not back in 2016 where Bitcoin was scarce. Um, even Bitcoin itself, you know, we are getting a halving every four years and not every two weeks or not every one month. So if that happens, um, I mean, what can we use Bitcoin for? If we are doing, if you are not using it for transactions, what else is Bitcoin? It's just a just a code in your in your wallet or in your MetaMask, right? It doesn't make any sense. So for pay, play to earn game, um, and currently in the crypto space, I think coin prices are really tagged to the utility that they can provide to the user. There's a plane flying by. So at the end of the day, if your token is not able to provide the user with a utility on how they can use the token, um, your coin prices will definitely not be high. It will not move at all. And it's a fact because look at coins like ADA. Um, it has been staying stable, not because it has no function, but because there is not enough function for the token itself other than staking. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Or coins like... Um, I got no other coins. I can't even think of ADA. I'm not a fan of ADA, so sorry ADA fans. Alright, so they move on to telling you the proof that this works is because after they reduce the rewards by 6%, from the 5th of January to the 9th of January, the price increased from $1.80 to $2.50. So um, I would think that this is a very short-term thinking and prices of coin moving could be a myriad of factors and not because just because you reduce the supply of the coins because coins can move for various various reasons um people could be could, could be new people coming into the game hence the price the, the price of the coin went up it could be people um buying more chests to open up more chests because they are 
they are looking at the new upcoming uh, marketplace and they are like hey you know what i'm gonna get all the super rares that i can so that i could sell it when the marketplace opens or i could use it for adventure mode so this could be one of the few reasons that the coin prices has been going up and i don't think the credit is always given to buy reducing rewards and therefore the price goes up but definitely this is my own opinion um, i'm not fighting the game it's just um, my own personal thoughts on on why why the coin price could have gone up so the next part of the of the document they say after announcement of reducing the old nerf on the 2nd of january our data shows that users have mined a lot of b, b coins on the 3rd of january and the b coin mining output increased again and mostly goes to cash out down to the lowest price of a dollar sixty um so i feel that when the coin prices goes down it's not because people um were mining more tokens and i don't necessarily think that it's because they are mining more tokens and they are cashing out so this could be people who have been mining tokens for the longest time keeping it in their wallets and you know one day they're like hey you know what i need some money i'm just going to cash it out i'm just going to sell it and that is what could have potentially caused the dip here right here so let's take a look it's on the first third of january um, let's go back to one month let's look at the third of january Yep, so if you look at the third of January, it was two dollars thirty cents here and it went down all the way here. So the volume went from eight million all the way to twelve million dollars in a day. So unless you're telling me that the game is able to mine four million dollars worth of tokens in one day, then yes, I think mining is the problem here because the rewards are too much and therefore the prices is dropping too fast. But to have 4 million worth of B coins, that's like almost 4 million tokens being sold in one single day. And let's look at their total market cap here. They have 100 million. So I do not think it's because we are mining 4 million tokens in one day. And I think it's more likely the cause that this be, there are a group of people that have already been mining B coins and been holding it in their wallets. And then, you know, one day they're like, hey, I need the money. I'm just going to sell. So I think this could be one of the issues here and not because of the mining issue. But over here, I want to give credit to the team for, for thinking really fast and also um, putting out their best cards on the table to help the game, to, to make the game survive for a longer time as well. Um, like I said, this is not a fat video. It's really just to give some feedback and ho hopefully when the devs see this video, they know like, hey, you know what? We've got to do something else other than just cutting the rewards. Because if we cut too much rewards, um, users might not want to play the game anymore because the game is not as efficient for them to put their money in to play the game and you know like they are not earning enough or not earning as much as they could in the past so um so the dev has layered a few things here so the purpose of the of the nerf or to reduce the mining by six percent first is to reduce the amount of cash out on bitcoin onto the market which we'll talk about in an update that they're given in their discord as well and the second thing here is to create scarcity of Bcoin. Okay, I understand this. And the third is to prevent the problem of inflation in the future. And finally, the important thing is to care about maintaining an NFT game for a long time. The amount of pool rewards must be remain at a stable level, gradually decreasing at a slower rate, slow and reasonable rate, and will not lead to the death of the game. So to counter these three points, what the what the devs did was to go to let's head on to Discord. Uh, what they did here is to fix the claiming mechanism. So um, there, was a, there was a quick maintenance, uh, I think yesterday in the afternoon to just fix a few things, um, which, I th which, I, which, which I think is great. Like they fixed the bug, heroes not moving. I have been having that problem. My heroes are just standing there, not doing anything. And they applied a new claim, uh, a new claim fee mechanism. Um, so I'm pretty iffy about this. I do not agree, neither do I not disagree about it, but I think there are better ways to do it than to just blanket blanket tax everybody so for example here they say when claiming b coins greater than or equal to the value of 40 and less than 60 the tax is 10 percent so this means if you are claiming 40 b coins you will receive um 36 if you are claiming 60 you'll receive 54 and the second tier is when you claim b coin greater than 60 or less than 80 the tax is six percent and when claiming b coins greater than 80 the tax is 3%. So 
way before this server maintenance, when we are claiming B coins, we are paying a 3% tax. So um, I'm not too sure where the tax goes to, but we are paying a 3% tax to the game. And let's say if you are claiming 40, we'll get back um, probably 39 point something. And right now, um, the minimum to claim is still 40, but this with this new thing in place, it might deter new people coming in because they realize that, hey, my money is going to be stuck inside because if I do not have 40 B coins, I'm not being a I'm not able to claim and I got to get a tax hit of 10%. So this is kind of like the the thing that crypto mines were going for where I lost $8,000. I'll link a video up above so you guys can take a good laugh at it. So when crypto mines implemented a tax system, um, people had to take tax hit to withdraw their tokens, which made many people unhappy because when the token price drops even more, people started taking tax hits. They were like, you know, screw this. I'm just going to take the hit, take out my tokens. I'm going to just dump it. And then when it started to increase the tax from 24% in 14 days to 60% in 40 days, everybody literally just flipped and the game kind of failed. So I think what could be done better here is to maintain the 40 B coins for a claim. And if they want to reinvest these 40 coins to buy a new chest, I think users should be given a leeway to do that and not be taxed 10% because some people really want to just open new chests to get new heroes. But there are some people that want to just cash out their tokens as well. So at the end of the day, um, I don't think just putting a blanket tax all over will be something that will help everyone because it doesn't make sense to people that really love the game and really want to invest more into the game. They want to reinvest their earnings into the game as well. So like for me, when I played Axie Infinity, I was so happy when Katana came out because I was able to swap my SLP to Rep Eve to increase the number of teams that I have. But um, if I have to take a 10% hit just because I want to reinvest into the game, I might start to think twice and, you know, I might just take a hit and I might just exit the game. So this could be one thing that could happen as well. So that is something that maybe the devs might want to work on to think of how you could further better improve this system. Uh, I mean, I'm all for the game, but at the end of the day, it must be able to help the user as well and not just the, the dev team too. Okay, so the last announcement that the team had was um, a pancake swap announcement. And I think this is pretty interesting because um, now you're able to open a syrup swap pool, uh, a syrup pool on pancake swap. So uh, a pool literally means um, an, a liquidity pool. So what you're going to do is to take some B coins and some BNB. You're going to put them together. You're going to get a BNB B coin LP. So when you get this LP token, you are able to stake it into the pool. And by staking it into the pool, you are getting um, B coins as rewards. So now we are in a conundrum here, right? Because if I already have B coin in my MetaMask and I have BNB in my MetaMask, which I need to, to, to play the game, Am I, am I not more incentivized to just do the pancake swap liquidity pool mining when I can earn B coins from there without running the game, um, without buying any heroes, and I have literally no loss. The only loss I have is the impermanent loss that B coin goes to zero, but I will still get some BNB back. So if this pool, um, I don't know what the percentage is going to be, but it's going to be open um, later today. As you can see here, it says uh, 11 UTC, 12 January. Um, if the pool opens by today, I might want to put some into the pool, man. Like, I'm going to earn B coins doing nothing. I don't have to run my heroes. I don't have to buy a house. I don't have to get a super legendary hero to you know, help me clear the map and stuff like that. So um, I'm not too sure how to feel about this, but I don't know. I think... As a lazy person who wants to earn money, I think this is great. I could earn B coins doing nothing. I could earn B coins from here and then reinvest into the game if I want to. If I want to. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of makes me wonder, um, will people start doing LPs now instead of playing the game? I'm not too sure about that. So I really do think that this is really what we want to share about the game as a community. Um, this is my own opinion. Uh, but I really give it to the dev, you know, to think that to save the price of Bitcoin, these, these are some measures that they have. But ultimately, I think there must be a longer term plan 
and not just by reducing rewards. And because if you are reducing too much rewards, people might not find the impetus or might not feel that the game is worth playing anymore because instead of me earning money from it, I'm probably going to throw in a lot more money and then I'm not able to earn something from the game when I'm actually playing the game as well, other than me getting joy. But let's be real, um, we do not live off free air and joy. We all have to eat. We there, there, there are some people that play this as their daily income as well. So um, that's all for today's video. Um, it's not really a rant, but yeah, I just think that these are some feedback that I get from my friends and I think that we should let the devs know that hey you know these are some things that we can speed up a little bit more but nonetheless i'm still pretty excited for the 18th of january because from their discord they say they are going to definitely launch marketplace and adventure mode um, let's take a look here so as you can see it says here marketplace will be released on the 18th of jan so i think this is um, going to be pretty exciting for all of us um, no idea what's going to happen I don't know how much epics are going to cost, you know, if, if you guys have some idea, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think the cost of, what, what do you think the price of epics are going to be, the price of legendary is going to be, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.